Oh, oh my god, Ryan. <laughs> what a surprise. Hey, what's up, Cinnamon Buns? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, this is my yeah, probably last Nintendo 3DS collection video. Woohoo! You guys love these and I love these too. But um, let's face it, Nintendo is slowly abandoning the system. Um, I just checked online because all that you read on the internet must be right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I read that the president of Nintendo of America, Bowser, he said that they would continue the Nintendo 3DS until the holidays in 2020 at least. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Okay, I can't sit on my feet. They already heard. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> if you have seen my previous collection videos, you know that I usually put my games in a chronological order. That means I'm ordering them according to the date where I bought them. But a few months ago, I decided to put them in an alphabetical order. So yeah, just in case you were wondering, you probably weren't wondering. So yeah, here is my 3DS shell. Those are only my regular boxes, not any special editions also. If you want me to make another video on them, leave a comment below. I will try to do this in the future. So... The first game is Adventure Time, starts with an A. Uh, please don't bash me if I made a mistake in this stack. I really tried my best, but um, I never know who picks a game out and doesn't put a game where it's supposed to be, so yeah, I'm making up excuses. <laughs> the first one is Adventure Time. I can't tell much about it. I bought it because I love Adventure Time, but... Obviously, um, I, I really have a lot of games and not a lot of time to play them. I would say I've played about 70% of all my 3DS games for more or less hours. <laughs> but yeah. The next one is Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. A very underrated game in my opinion. Um, yeah, in case you are not familiar with Happy Home Designer. You can basically design villagers' houses the way you want them to be. And I liked that they kind of took elements of Happy Home Designer in the Nintendo Switch game, Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch, because I love designing houses. One of my most played games is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh my god, so many awesome memories. It was released in 2013 and I remember on the day when it was released I cut myself bangs and I went to Toys R Us afterwards to get the game and after that um, I met up with some friends and we had a bonfire night so very 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 nice memories with Animal Crossing New Leaf. I think I've played about 700 to 900 hours worth it. <laughs> Bravely default. I have two of these. One of them is an American version. I have an American 3DS so I could play this. Here is Chibi Robo Ziplash. This actually came in a special edition with the Chibi Robo Amiibo. Cut the Rope Trilogy is a game that I found in Toys R Us. Like these baskets where discounted things are inside, you know what I mean. It only was three or five euros, I can't even remember. That was a long time ago and this is still not right. Then I have Disney's Magical World. Very magical. <laughs> I played the first one but I haven't played the second one yet. Looks very pretty. So if you're into Disney and stuff, it's your game. One of my ultimate rage quitting games is Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Don't even get me started on this, I hate this game so much. Then I have Dragon Quest Fragments. Mm. English title. I don't know. 
fragments of the past, I think. Dragon Quest the Expert, We're talking right here. Super cute game, Ever Oasis. I loved it. Very easy game, but also very fun game. Oh yes, I loved this. Fantasy Life. Highly recommend this. You get a lot of stuff for a decent amount of money. Well, that's probably a lie because I don't actually know how much this is now. But it's worth it. I love all level 5 games. They also made Yokai Watch in case you were wondering. So yeah. Oh, my very, my very first Fire Emblem game. It was Fire Emblem Awakening. This started my love for Fire Emblem. I love you, Crom. I love you. Of course, we had to play Fire Emblem Fates. This came with a special edition as well. Um, there was a steelbook inside, and I drove 300 kilometers to get the special edition of Fire Emblem Fates. But it was worth it. It's very, very awesome. Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia is my least favorite one of the series. I can't even tell why. I think it's because I have to play with both, I think, Celica and... How is the guy called again? I forgot. Um, yeah, it's my least favorite one. Another, another super cheap find is Gardening Mama. Oh, Gardening Mama Forest Friends. <laughs> one of the worst games I've ever played is Harvest Moon The Lost Valley. Harvest Moon games aren't made by the people who made the original Harvest Moon games. It's just the name put on this game, so no wonder why it's not that good. The developers of the original Harvest Moon games now do Story of Seasons games. This one is still sealed. I bought it because it was literally 3 euro on Amazon. I don't even like Hello Kitty anymore. When I was 14 or 15, like in my super emo phase, <laughs> I was so into Hello Kitty, but not anymore. Hey Pikmin! Woohoo! Not as good as a real Pikmin game, but it was fun. Another game that came in the special edition was Hyrule Warriors Legends. It came with this clock thing. Yeah, this one. As you can tell, it's still sealed. I got this. Dream Drop Distance, Kingdom Hearts, because I was watching a vlog the other day and some people were playing this game and, and it looked cool, so that's why I got this. Another one I haven't played yet is Kirby Battle Royale. But I have played Kirby Planet Robot, super super fun. I have also played... Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, which is a 3DS remake of Kirby's Epic Yarn. I have also played Kirby Triple Deluxe, one of my all-time favorite Kirby games. I have played Luigi's Mansion, which was released after Luigi's Mansion 2, or how you Americans call it, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. See, in Europe it is called Luigi's Mansion 2. Sorry, I just got distracted. I have played Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. I have played The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. And this is quite cool because it has a flip cover. I don't know if you can see. Uh, oh my god, Club Nintendo points. I miss Club Nintendo. <laughs> I put the shimmery side on the front because it looks shimmery. I have also played Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I was so happy that this got a re-release because when I played this as a kid I was scared so that I peed my pants because of the moon obviously and um, I didn't come far in the game. I was too small I think, too stupid to play this. Ocarina of Time! I'm a little bit confused right now. So 
So I have Lego Harry Potter, Harry Potter, uh, years five to seven, but I can't find years one to four. Where is it? Hmm. I've played this and I've also played Jurassic World, the Lego one. And I've also played Pirates of the Caribbean. I've also played Pirates of the Caribbean. I haven't played the Marvel one yet. I got it from one of those baskets inside Media Markt for pretty cheap. Um, I have to admit that I'm not a huge fan of Marvel movies. I hope you don't hate me now. They are too colorful for my taste. I've also played the Lego movie video game. <coughs> oh. Zelda game needs to put in here later on. Zelda Triforce Heroes. I've played this also online. Oh, a lot of people hate this, but it's such a cute game. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 2. It has a yellow box, which is quite special, I think. Yeah, it's just a regular Super Mario game. Fun, but nothing special. Also one of my first 3DS games, oh, this was so fun. Super Mario 3D Land, woohoo. Oh, I played this so much in my vacation in Croatia, I think in 2014. We played this on the beach and it was so fun. Mario Kart 7. Mario Party Island Tour. I can't even remember if I have played this. Not sure. Another one and not sure if I've actually played this. I played Mario Party the top 100 mini games though and they put me in a very nostalgic place. Then I have some Mario and Luigi games. Mario and Luigi... I think it is Bowser's Inside Story in, in America in English. And I think this is a remake. Green Team Bros, which was my first Mario and Luigi game. Oh, this one was super fun. Paper Jam Bros. Okay, first row is done. Detective Pikachu, it also has a yellow box. I always love when boxes have a color in them. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I actually played um, Detective Pikachu until the end. It was very fun, but also received a lot of hate. Then I also got then I have an American game. It is Mega Man Legacy Collection. <laughs> then I got Super Monkey Ball. Then I played One Starter for Ultimate. Super super fun. I also played One Starter Generations. If you ask me what's the difference between those two, I don't even know. <laughs> There's probably a difference in them, but I'm a noob when it comes to Monster Hunter, so I, I don't have a clue. Then I also have Monster Hunter Stories, which I didn't like that much. Another another super cheap find is Pac-Man and the Ghost Adventures. I haven't played this yet. Ooh, I loved this Pokemon Art Academy. I still can't draw. <laughs> Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, regular Mystery Dungeon game, just like this. In case we're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm, I'm always pulling a game out and I don't want the game from above to fall down. That's why I'm holding my arm up like this. I have Pokemon Omega Ruby. I haven't played that one, but I've played Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Then I have Pokemon X. I loved this one. Then I have a sealed copy of Pokemon Moon. And here is Pokemon Sun. I completed the Pokedex 100%. Woohoo! Then I have Pokemon Ultra Sun. I started it but haven't played that much. Then I have Pilot Wings Resort. It was also one of the first games that was released for the 3DS in 2011. Yeah! 
I also got it quite recently. Aww, Poochies and Yoshi's Woolly World. I love these. Who doesn't love Poochie Pops? Rabbit's Rumble. <laughs> Oh, great memories. I played this so much on my N64 and that I was super keen to play this again on the three on the 3DS. Rayman Origins, also super ragey game. <laughs> A sealed copy of Resident Evil The Mercenaries. I played the Resident Evil Revelations game. When it came out in 2012, it is scary. It is just a Nintendo 3DS game, game, but it is scary. Then I also got an American game, it is called River City Tokyo Rumble. One of my most played games is Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix. It is so, so crazy, but so, so, so fun. Okay, I'm having some difficulties. Sims 3, Star Fox uh, 64 3D, yeah, the regular Story of Seasons, and Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns. Super Smash Bros. 3DS. I suck at Super Smash Bros. Another one I've never played is Tekken. I got this because someone sent it to me to my PO box. I played this a lot. Fun Fantasy, Theater Rhythm, Curtain Call. Super crazy game, Tomodachi Life. <laughs> then I have Welcome to Gravity Falls. One of my all time favorite games, Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles. Yokai Watch. I also played uh, Yokai Watch 2. Bony Spirits. Why do I have two of these? Oh, it's Yokai Watch Bony Spirits 2. Why is there a second one? <laughs> then I have Yokai Watch 3. Then I have Yoshi's Island. I also played this. Then I have some Club Nintendo carrying cases. This fell down. <laughs> I'm struggling. Yeah, and here I have some American ones. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. That's my Nintendo 3DS collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video if you want. Bye bye!